तुम्हारा फोटो नजर नहीं आ रहा हाँ स्टार्टेड इट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन टेन मिनट बोलो यस या 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 मी एंड माय वाइफ बोथ विल टॉक टू हाँ हाँ हाँ, ओके, हाँ, हाँ, डेट विल बी डेट, हाँ, 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 ओके, थैंक यू, बाय बाय जो डायरेक्टर है ना गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग सर बोलिए फाइन फाइन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग पीपल आर ज्वाइनिंग इन या आई एम इगरली वेटिंग वंडरफुल सर इज इट आई आई होप यू आर एबल टू ओपन योर वीडियो तो वो वीडियो खोल गया कि नहीं? Yeah, I can see you very well. Yeah, yeah. I just request you to open the video so that you know the audience can see you. मैंने वीडियो नहीं खोला खोलो तो. Just one minute. I'm trying to open my video. No problem. No problem. No problem. यार वीडियो बंद है हम लोग का. वीडियो खोल दी है हाँ. हेलो डॉक्टर पवार यस सर आई कांट ओपन माय वीडियो अनलेस यू गिव द परमिशन या आई थिंक दैट इज Would you please try it now? Try it now. No, the signs say that you cannot. Uh, let me try it. Yeah. Now you can. Hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Sir. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Such a nice, such, such a nice time, and then it's it's wonderful to see you, sir. Good to see you too. And so, as people are joining in, I think uh, the event is about to start. We. Had requested our certain uh, trustees to join in to have a conversation with you, and uh, this would be probably a conversation that is very open, casual as uh, such. They might want to ask you certain questions, and by seven uh, audiences will keep joining in, and we will have the conversation. I think Mohanji is also also joined. I'll also invite Mohanji as the co-host.
Monji, you can speak now. Hello. Yeah. Am I audible now? Yes, yeah, you are audible. Audible. My video. Uh, I am not able to get setting video. No problem, sir. I am doing this right now. I think now you can try. Yeah, I'll try. Yeah. Hi. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. Good evening. कैसे हैं आप? I am fine, sir. Good. ये योगेश जी अभी थोड़ा सा informal chat चल रहा है. तो एक महीना पहले MM sir ऑफिस से एक दिन पहले मतलब before we had a Zoom meeting. Uh, one of his uh, representative from uh, bombay one mr kishor called me and he said uh, mm sir would like to uh, talk to you for one hour tomorrow and mm -hmm. then i asked him ki kya kya reason hai main to you know it was in the last 4 5 months uh, somehow inke sath uh, baat chit nahi hui thi for some reason so i was confused ki ye saab ko kya uh, puchna hai kya baat karna hai kuch uh, mere yahan se payment delay hua to mujhe datna hai kya <laughs> <laughs> तो 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 ऐसा कुछ उसने बताया भी नहीं एंड जस्ट थिंकिंग कि ये क्या बात है किस का, के लिए बुलाया तो नेक्स्ट डे व्हेन वी हैड अ मीटिंग विद हिम एंड हिज वन ऑफ हिज कलीग वन मिस्टर रमन नंदा सिट्स इन पुना ओनली द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट विच एम एम सर सेड ही सेड आई जस्ट कॉल टू हैव अ चैट विथ यू एंड फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स वी हैव नॉट डिस्कस अ सिंगल पॉइंट ऑन द बिजनेस Yeah, <laughs> and then I, I, at that time only I said, "Ki sir, you should uh, come and join and address to uh, rise our NGO." <laughs> and but he first of all, you know, I'm I'm really glad that uh, we have arises like Mohanji, and uh, you know, MM sir, I can call you MM sir, right? You can call me MM only. Okay. <laughs> So, so everybody uh, everybody calls me by that name in the company at home both okay okay in, i will i will put a sir to it because i have a manufacturing defect so, <laughs> 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 so I, i will speak to that yeah. but uh, you know it's a privilege it's an honor when i read about you uh, uh, of course in rashmi's book as well such a beautiful story and then then moving forward uh, i think i've already told your wikipedia page so it is it is a blessing to have direct conversation with you of course so thank you so much for accepting it uh the invitation he says it's a pleasure to share my experience i do that every week with the i am on the bus uh huh i yeah, but... try to take one class every week or a fortnight and share my experience with the students kya yeah, baat but... yogesh ji meri pehli mulakat mm sir ke sath 2003 4 mein hui thi washi mein आपको सर याद होगा सर दैट टाइम आई मेट यू इन वाशी एंड लेट मी टेल यू यू नो विच प्रॉब्ली आई विल बी सेइंग दैट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ग्रुप आल्सो ही हैज बीन सपोर्टिंग मी सिंस लास्ट 17 18 इयर्स टिल टुडे एब्सोल्युटली एंड लेट मी टेल यू यू नो ही इज द द देयर आर वी कॉल अस यू नो हार्ट ऑफ द कूलिंग टावर the cooling tower fields are there which he is the number one in the world and he is supplying me the, since last 17 years and he has never asked me kya terms and conditions hai <laughs> so i have been blessed by him and uh, you know i i can say ki he has contributed a lot in my growth kya baat and incident both of you also have something in common what is that he is mm you are also mm <laughs> yeah <laughs> Right. That's you right. Are, you are also you are also M square, so you also M M. Yeah, that's I, right. I think his M M is different, and your M M is different. My M M is different. Yeah. <laughs> my M M is my second M is uh, Mira. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> you are right. right. Correct. Correct. Right. Absolutely right. So that is what one of the observations was. Yeah, absolutely. Sir, 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 in this entire process, how has been business acting in pandemic, sir? Ah. Uh. Uh, really speaking, uh, we had the worst impact in India, but outside India we are not affected so badly because we are our main clientele are metal industry who produce iron ore, copper, zinc, platinum, gold, silver, vanadium, things like that. So they are in good shape, except uh, 
working has been bad in india in uh, chile we got three months of working capital as a loan for two years interest free okay for okay. so last 15 months they took the average turnover and then multiplied by three that money given to us for interest free for two years in australia they are giving us three thousand dollar per man per month subsidy cash okay Okay. Though our average cost oh, per man is about seven thousand Australian dollar, average. Okay. In South okay. Africa, they gave eighty percent wages of the worker. Mm -hmm. Oh, as long as the, we keep on employing the people, eighty wow. to ninety percent. Wow. In India, we got nothing support from the government, but then we have to learn to live uh, whatever conditions are. Uh, we are doing better than last year now. Wow! Wow! Kya baat hai? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. No, no. I, in fact, uh, because when I was because ninety percent of our operations are outside India, but in my company in Delhi, which is a domestic company, we are thirty percent uh, lower than what we used to be uh, last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so your experience is. Outside India, the uh, government and economy uh, is supporting a lot to get the businesses upright. Yeah, they they trust the entrepreneur, they trust the industry. Our our all 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 the story starts with that they don't trust. Hmm. How how important this is this word? One word called trust. I, I couldn't get your question. I, I said, sir, how important is this one word called trust? Very important in life. If the government and the industry can work together with trust, things will improve. Like in Japan, mm -hmm. when a company goes on strike, they don't stop working. The workers will wear black badges. They will come on the job. The workers will not get the badges. The company will not get the profit. Entire money is kept in an account by the government for the worker development fund. But the the economy does not lose. Okay. So okay. suppose if there's a strike, I keep paying bank interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the company will lose. So the worker will not get wages. So the worker will lose. The company will not get the profit. The entire thing will go to the worker development fund, but both will work as usual. Okay. Okay. And the so, trust. So whatever. Whatever happens, the country should not suffer. Companies don't lose, and they they trust uh, the industry. The level of trust in Japan is much more than anywhere else. Like in Japan, if a company has to entertain somebody to get the business, and the level of entertainment is different for different country. Like if they are entertaining a Saudi customer or an Indian customer or an American customer or a European customer, the kind of money they have to spend on entertainment is different the income tax department will never ask the expenditure they will approve it so that that's so very very you know that these are the cultural nuances uh, yeah. that that uh, i have personally experienced like i will tell uh, you in japan when i was traveling with uh, one of the company going from his office to the plant the president of the company was riding with me on the way at about 12 o'clock we stopped for the lunch Mm -hmm. His driver, me, and he, we had a lunch at the same table. <laughs> driver also. So that equality no, is there. There's no difference. Mm -hmm. I follow some of that. Anybody coming to my room, even if he's a pune, he will sit down on the chair and then talk to me. I think, as a human being, we are all same. Our jobs are different. Absolutely. Absolutely. Our what jobs are different. What a, what a beautiful learning. What a beautiful. Yeah, baat hai. Jabar the. It has already started. The learning has already started flowing. Thank you so much. I call it this. Absolutely. And it's coming from you. And uh, you living it will be very natural, of course. So that's how the life goes in different country. Mm -hmm. True. So what is your... Uh, you are a first generation entrepreneur. Uh, I'm sure... I'm first, first generation. Sorry? First generation. First generation, first generation yes. And things must be economically, uh, skill-wise, absolutely different when you started off. I mean, I'm I'm hundred percent sure. 
because uh, so what has been your you know the change in economy globalization how do you look at all these situations yeah i look at your honest hard working uh, you will always win the race it may take time i have failed many times but i don't call it a failure or a mistake i think it's a process of, it's a process of doing the job like in my company if anybody makes a mistake we never fire him never never fire him my first sentence that i speak to graduate engineer when i employ you should commit mistake but don't repeat it because if they don't commit mistake it means they are not doing work mm-hmm. it means they are not doing work so they have to work they have to make mistake so i remove the fear from their mind if i make a mistake i'll be fired or my boss will fire me Why nobody is allowed to fire anybody or use a hard word if somebody makes a mistake done okay. it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a part of the process of doing the job kya yeah, baat hai okay. Okay. okay i okay. make a yeah. thousand mistake my junior colleague will make only 10 and he gets fired and i don't get fired that's not fair kya yeah, baat hai that's not fair So I'm going to get uh, our trustees. I think they have all joined, You're welcome. and uh, I, I would love to get them introduced. They are the real pillars behind uh, Arise. I mean, I believe I'm just the navigator in the entire process, but I think uh, the whole credit goes to Mohan Ji, uh, Rajendra Benivali Ji, uh, Anand Kalnekar, Gopal Ojha. all of these gentlemen are actually making a very genuine effort to uh, to invest in the community and make it a little better so uh, the whole process of uh, you know moving forward is because of these people is what i genuinely believe let me quickly introduce uh, rajendra binewale ji to you and uh, rajendra you can open up your uh, video yeah yeah please and uh, speak I mean, saying it cannot start i think you'll have to okay i think the rules have been changed the people are joining in uh, now now it's okay now it's okay we yeah. can see you yes yeah. yes gopal gopal ujha can also do that so as we have now uh, Rajendra can uh, Rajendra Biliwale is a published author sir and uh, he comes from academia he is uh, also the office bearer of right he takes care of almost everything <laughs> at right and i'm sure you have already had conversation with yeah, him i talked to him nazan already joined so for one minute uh, i we have we have anand pallekar ji who Uh, happens to represent a company called Spav Engineers, and Anandji is a technocrat. Anandji, uh, you can say good evening to sir. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have Gopal Oza. Gopal uh, yeah. is evening, the sir. director for Oza Group. They are into multiple businesses, sir. They are into infrastructure, they are into construction, they are into interior, commercial interior specifically. So. Uh, but all of them have one thing in common that uh, they all believe in giving so the base fundamental of arise is based on three value systems that we are driving collaboration growth and sharing so that's where the entire community is based on uh, people can ask our questions before we start i think we should we are we are just on seven so let's have five minutes now uh, and if you have any questions because exactly at seven five is our national anthem and uh, we will respect the country we will we show our respect to the country then begin the program so anybody who has a question can definitely start ask the question uh, mm sir is here go ahead तो 
question answer session because mm-hmm. i want audience also to get benefited wonderful so Very once nice. i really appreciate uh, when i was going through the you know company website mm-hmm. the human department that human resource department i saw it is one of the very very, very vibrant very alive thing and uh, particularly when i read about that whistle blower policy i was really amazed and uh, i'll ask that question during question and answer session hmm. so sure, sure you can, can. Of, course. Of, course. of course so that's that 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 a difficult question so i have i have uh, I will request everyone to mute themselves. There is a lot of voice disturbance, so kindly mute yourself. Rajesh, Rajesh, can I request you to put the black latch on? I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Because my my computer is acting funny, funny. Yes, give me one minute. Can you see that, sir? Yes. Can I start? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Your attention. We start with the pledge now. Repeat after me. After every sentence. I am responsible human being. I am responsible human being. Ready to support, share, and collaborate. Ready to support, share, collaborate. I will be honest in my actions towards everyone. I will be honest in my actions to everyone. I will enjoy my journey. I will enjoy my journey with a large heart and tolerance. With a large heart and tolerance towards Arise community and society. Towards Arise community and society. I will establish entrepreneurial brotherhood. 
I will establish and entrepreneurial and brotherhood. brotherhood to strengthen my country and humanity. To strengthen my country and humanity. Dahin. Dahin. Sir, this has been the ritual uh, of how I have been. I'll announce you in just a while. I have to be dressed. No, 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 no. Just join. So I have. Uh, this is the ritual, sir, that we follow. There is a pledge that because it's a community, we need to uh, be ensuring that it is it is reiterated for all the audience, new and old. I'm going to share something about the arise journey, and I think repetition creates belief. And every time when I repeat this. i am forming a very strong belief for myself than anybody else and hence this reputation is for me as the reputation for you when we started arise the whole process of arise was about rising inspiring and creating a unified team or a syndicate of people who believe in giving sharing and contributing today when i see that the community is growing it's a proud moment where people like mr pratap rao pawar mr vijay pawar people like uh, nandi kishor choudhary ji people like mohan madanga sir is so important that they are supporting us in this call to keep us be motivated stay us inspiring and ensure that we are always moving forward sir with all humble heart i welcome you to the arise community we have been one of the fastest growing in our own term in last three years we were able to get our processes right our systems right of the ngo and now we are taking and growing across the country very proud to share we started in a city called pune but we are now having arises across maharashtra kerala tamil nadu gujarat and i i think people are joining i believe people are joining the community not to take something but to give what they have so that they can contribute in the entire process of giving sir i am very proud that you are with, with us because the and this emotion comes very strongly because after reading the history of how your ups and downs in your journey has been and that's the spirit we want to build in entrepreneurs and i'm sure this evening is going to be a true night of truth talking a little about this event we started this a year back and to be really honest when we were when there was no pandemic and everybody was meeting each other this used to be a quarterly event where people used to come and legendary leaders and entrepreneurs like sir used to come there and sit over a peg that was the process sir sit over a peg in front of 100 people along with all 100 people having the peg and very open honest discussion about failures and successes was discussed i am so proud to share that open casual conversation has taken people's fear off fear of how would my second generation take care of business i still remember when pratap sir spoke about how he handed over his conglomerate business to abhijit pawar ji people were so mesmerized and i'm sure the same question is also going to come to you of how you handed over your business what was that process that you handed over the business to the second generation when Pramod Chaudhary ji spoke about his ups and downs, hitting the rock bottom almost twice. We could feel that when he was talking about it because he has gone through that journey. Now, this event itself, we were very skeptical of doing this event online. But fortunately, if you have right emotions, if your heart is at right place, and you have, if you have the ability to focus and do right things every day. i think same emotions can be evolved so our last event of night of truth with krishna kumar goel ji was 
amazingly done beautifully and that's exactly we will continue now to do this digitally so that we can connect people in the entire country this is what night of truth is some honest questions some genuine questions and genuine responses from the uh, person who is legendary and has walked that path that is the whole process that we will all learn through and i think my life has been a learning every day there is something learning and this evening is going to be awesome for me that i'm sure i would recommend our i am director which is inspiring india movement director monan turkar ji to take the privilege to introduce his old friend of 17 years and ensure that you are introducing him to the zeal and commitment that you always show so go ahead mohan ji please introduce i am sir. absolutely delighted sir to speak about mm sir and let me uh, tell uh, the first uh, point itself Uh, i never felt that he is my business associate uh, he is truly truly he is uh, aadhar card for everybody you know real life aadhar card for everybody for his uh, uh, kids for his you know he has been supporting a lot to everybody and uh, let me tell you uh, he is a man of uh, great determination and great passion i'm sorry Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I get emotional with him. That's how it is. Yeah, he is a very uh, humble and down-to-earth man. He is a man of ethics. He is a man of values. and he is easily accessible he is a chairman of mm group of industries which is a flagship company in tega uh, let me tell you by education he is a civil engineer and uh, he has been i am uh, amdavar graduate in 1967 so probably some of us were not even born also is that right yogesh <laughs> i i was not born ye kya baat hai and uh, uh, truly you know uh, his uh, tega started in 1976 and today he is uh, his presence is there in 73 countries and uh, just last uh, month when i was talking to him and he said i will ensure that m square also grows to uh, n number of countries so that is the way he is and uh, he is having the uh, manufacturing plants in three countries which is in australia chile and south africa so it's a truly indian embassy and he is having a beautiful strong image uh, brand, uh, i mean brand image in the mining sector tega let me tell you uh, you know just uh, uh, along with this you know how uh, a person like him i mean he is a very young it is a youth is by mindset it is not by age so when i say you know uh, he is graduated in uh, 67 probably some people might start uh, calculating his age so let us not calculate his age you know he is very young at heart and, and uh, let us wish let us wish that you know he gives uh, uh, many more years and he gets 100 years of life so uh, so he was the first person yogesh ji uh, coming to the point that he broke the rule uh, in 1976 there was a rule that we should pay 6% provident fund and uh, he started paying 12% so he is always in the giving mode and that is where i remember you know uh, one swami gyanavatsal asked to apj abdul kalam ki how uh, you keep that energy level now abdul kalam replied i always think of giving it to the others so he is always in the giving mode so mm is probably uh, the same like abdul kalam that is why you can see even today he is having a very smiling face and you see the important part on his back side he is having hundreds of books now he is you know he wo to chalti farti university hai and that is where the people say you know uh, uh, if you want to double the earnings uh, triple the learnings and he is he is uh, you know he is that kind of person and we will learn a lot and as i said in the afternoon in the group probably uh, we will be able to unfold or he will be able to unfold himself may not be more than 10% but out of that 10% even if we take 10% we will transform ourselves 
that's what i feel very strongly now he is uh, supporting let me tell you uh, on my personal ground he has been supporting m square engineers since 20 years and they produce the uh, heart of the cooling tower which are oh, worldwide number 1 in the uh, world the rated in terms of quality as a number 1 and he has been supporting 20 years probably in my growth uh, he has contributed a lot and i express my deep gratitude towards him he is a uh, he himself is a man of uh, you know having a tremendous gratitude towards the society and he has been uh, let me uh, you know probably uh, say something in the next one or two statements which uh, probably i will say you hold your breath and then uh, probably wherever we are sitting we can salute him for the statement which i am going to make next two statements very interesting statement and very it will touch to your heart see he uh, he has already promised in 2015 that he is going to give his personal wealth back to the society don't you yeah, think we, don't you think we should salute him yeah yeah 100% 100%, 100%. <laughs> and 100%. and he he is a man you know he wants to do he is he is such a you know humble and uh, down to earth man and he loves to educate and he knows the what is the importance of education so the children's schools he has a passion to transform the schools now uh, his ambition is that the society should not you know i i i say from bottom of my heart that he gets 100 years of life a very healthy life but he says ki after him you know the society should not remember him for his contribution in the mining industry but society should remember him for his uh, contribution towards the society in terms of schools and we are proud today by sitting in calcutta there is one school near pune 80 kilometers from yes. here which he has transformed and it is already rated as number one school in the district and that school is a zp school jilla yes. parishad school and it is you know probably uh, that is where i said in the afternoon probably we will need him in the two three sessions isn't it <laughs> so he is also sir uh, president of lead for india chapter which is somewhat similar whatever i have understood somewhat similar activities which rise is carrying out and maybe we'll uh, take his guidance for development of rise also absolutely, absolutely. right and uh, now uh, if i have to speak about his awards you know there is a very big list very big list of awards it is uh, uh, i mean we want to give him more time rather than i keep on introducing but i would love to read those awards first award which he got is a samman patra from income tax department government of india 2002 can we give him a big applause then the certificate of honor from republic of ghana in 2003 then the tiger award from uh, for the best entrepreneur of the year 2006 uh, by indus entrepreneurs worldwide worldwide tiger award lifetime achievement award for his uh, contribution by indian institute of mineral engineering uh, for an outstanding contribution in mining industry then the next award which he has got is outstanding entrepreneurship award for third by third asia pacific entrepreneurship that is another award then e and y ernst and young entrepreneur of the year he was a finalist in 2012 then what we call yogesh ji in the last 6 months we have been using the word mentor and uh, you know we were clarified that mentor is a friend neither a guru or something like that so he has got, he has got a best acharya best mentor award in 2015 from entrepreneurs india association kya baat so we <laughs> and his uh, another award is you know he is uh, rather award i will say achievement is he is running schools in the rural areas Uh, almost mo- uh, many schools which he is running and they are been transformed some of the schools are transformed some of the schools are running uh, newly so uh, he is a man you know from whom we can learn a lot and as you rightly said he he has seen a lot of ups and downs we would uh, love to listen to him and uh, over to uh, mm sir thank you डॉक्टर योगेश पवार मिस्टर राजेंद्र मोहन अदर ट्रस्टी डॉक्टर मिस्टर गोपाल मिस्टर ओझा एंड माय सीनियर कलीग फ्रॉम पूना मिस्टर रमन नंदा डिस्ट्रिक्ट गेस्ट फेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल 
I would like to clarify. You should discount fifty uh, percent whatever Mohan has said. He being a friend, who he always exaggerates. I am not so great as Mohan says. You should discount it. Let's come back to this evening session. Before I start my entrepreneurial journey, let me tell you a story about day one in I am Ahmedabad. When we joined I am Ahmedabad, the day of inauguration, eleven o'clock, the inauguration was over, and they gave us three case studies to take up next day morning. And one of the case study was a counting case. Running into 137 pages, Galway series. I was an engineer, and my roommate was a fellow from Sri Lanka in statistics. So we both discussed that we don't know accounting. Let's go to Dean and ask him if he can arrange any tuition for us for an hour, that we can study the case and discuss it next day. Uh, when we went to meet him. He told us one thing: we throw you in the sea. We don't ask you whether you know swimming or not. You drown and die, and you get out of my room. So we came back to our room, and we started preparing. In 15 days, myself and Melcourt, we were both above average, maybe among the top 10 in the class in accounting. That the first time I learned. nothing is impossible if you decide to do anything you will do it and we did it and that was the thought that i imbibed and got settled in my mind and then i started to think i will do something different when i pass out rather than to take a job those day they sell you of an i am graduate Used to be average ten thousand rupees a year, not ten thousand rupees a day. So I thought that I will create an organization that would make major contribution to economy and society without sacrificing the interest of employees and the shareholder. And that is the way I thought of an enterprise, which was subsequently named Tega. I saw an advertisement. the mining magazine about skega i wrote them a letter that i would like to become your agent on start the manufacturing in india they replied to me we are not interested unfortunately that letter did not reach me so i made made a visit to them after giving them a cable and they were surprised to see me when they have told us they are not interested why have i come and then i had a meeting with them whole day i could create interest in them unfortunately or fortunately that letter read six month letter by seaport had that letter come earlier maybe tega would not have been born because i wouldn't have gone there were two problem for me at that time a to to negotiate the foreign collaboration with skega skega was part of a group uh called incentive ab uh, owned by wallenberg family and those days in 1971 when i went to visit them their turnover used to be 240 billion dollar like house of tatas any big company you name in sweden was owned by them like volvo saab ericsson alfa laval any company you name that was owned by wallenberg family and they were all all the ownership was with the trust so for me that's an individual to negotiate with such a large company was the biggest problem and i had to convince them that i could be your right partner and the second problem was to get the foreign collaboration approved from government of india they thought it is a rubber product there are 20000 people make in india why does it need a foreign collaboration it took me many many years and many meetings to convince them that i was not making rubber we were replacing steel 
in the mining industry it was a designed product to to create impact and reduce wear by reducing the downtime in the mining industry and providing more available time improving the productivity so it was a tailor made solution tailor made design product to be to be given to every customer every location even to a same customer the product profile will change after three or five years because he is raising the ore from another location not from the same location where he designed the plant government took more than five years to approve and that was the first test of my perseverance and patience without a job to work for five years with the government to get the approval iskega wanted 50 lakhs rupees to be paid to them fixed amount they were not sure whether i will be able to develop the market sell the product make profit and give them royalty government of india did not want to give any royalty or not more than 2 to 3% ultimately government agreed when iskega agreed to buy 50 lakhs of metal from us and pay the money in dollar so so that foreign exchange why we even out that was the only way we could get the approval from the government mm. this product required a simulation of three different technology M mechanical engineering mineral processing and tribology to reduce the wear and not one engineer we could get in india who had the knowledge of all the three technologies so the skega told me in a country like usa they took 6 to 8 years to educate customer to adopt this concept and product and in india you might take even more so they told that they will support me for the first 5 year by sending one swedish engineer every 3 to 4 month and we will go around and meet various customer in the mining industry to educate them and sensitize them to use this product when it is made in india so for 5 year i went around the country meeting various customer to tell them that look this is a product which will solve all your maintenance problem and and downtime when i met them every customer told you make this product it will sell like a hot cake one of the man told me why are you wasting my time coming every year for last 5 year why don't you focus that time on making the product but those 5 year we used to give seminar educate people but because of the import restriction those days we could not import any product in india for trial even if you had a imported machine and you need a bolt you had to go to a organization called dgtd there were 6000 engineer working all gold medalist they had never seen a working plant or they had never worked in a plant and you have to go and explain to them why do you need this can this not be supplied by anybody else you have to release the ad in the paper get no offer give it to them that i can't get this thing so give me the import license to import this spare your machine will remain down your plant may remain down they don't care about it though that if you were to go abroad for any business you will get 25 dollars per day allowance from reserve bank of india and you will come back you have to give the account how did you spend that money that was the condition for foreign chain we could not import any material so we could only give lectures to people educate the people most of the customer were public sector because the entire mining industry except tata steel all 200 customers were public sector companies and we had to sell it to them so when we manufactured we could not sell anything so after we made the market survey we made a project report and we gave it to icici to sanction the money and i met mr natkarni who was the deputy general manager of icici later on he became chairman of idbi and sebi 
So he looked at the project, a new concept, new product, and he knew that it would take time. So he told me that the, what are the resources you have after doing this project? I said, nothing. So then he asked, are you willing to take a partner? I said, doubt, no, because this is a very technologically complex problem. No partner will understand and will support the product. Then he told me, good luck. He knew that I will fail or I can fail. The, those days, the objective of ICICA was not to evaluate a project to say yes or no. They were evaluating it for strengthening the project. And a large number of students, large number of people working in ICICI who were evaluating were from I am Ahmedabad graduates. So when I subsequently failed, uh, one of my professor met them and asked, didn't I teach you for a uh, first time entrepreneur, non-traditional product, long time, you should give a larger amount of equity than to give one to two. The person said, yes, I knew. So I said, why didn't you sanction it? He says, I didn't know. Madan could use this extra money to make a house for himself. And they did not sanction it. So the basic thing started with the distrust. It so happened when we wanted to market the product, uh, we had made an estimate of 75 lakhs of order in the first year. And we could hardly get 12 lakhs rupees order. As it is at the time of implementing the project, we ran out of money because we had to spend considerable amount of money in training of our people. We hired mechanical engineers. We gave them uh, knowledge about tribology and rubber. We gave them knowledge on mineral processing. We had professors coming from IIT Kharagpur, IIT Dhanbad, in the School of Mine, to hold an in-company program for three months in Calcutta. When I wrote to ISM Dhanbad for an in-company program, they told, what does it mean? We don't know. So anyhow, I explained to them. They came and they took the classes for three months for our engineer to train them. That money was never provided in the budget. That was the most useful money to be spent in the company, which will guarantee the return of the loan to ICI or IDBI or IPI. We had 250 customers in the country. We did not get any order. We used to travel all of us 20 to 25 days in a month. Uh, we thought we will take about three to four months to get an order. It used to take eight to 12 months, even sometimes 15 months to get an order from a customer. That was the kind of effort required to educate people or to get the order. When we got one order from Bukharo Steel for 75,000 rupees, uh, 70 people had to 70 people had to sign that file. You can imagine to follow up with a file, 70 table, what kind of a Herculean task it would be to get an order of 74,000 rupees. We had to cut our expenses for travel. In my team, we had brilliant people. One of my colleagues, Robikar, was an IIT Kanpur gold medalist. I am Ahmedabad gold, gold medalist. He was a Ranji Trophy player. Other colleague was DP Sen. He was from IIM Calcutta. We had five engineers from IIT Kharagpur. I had the marketing manager, Praveen Kumar, who was the executive assistant to Dr. Charatram those days. All brilliant people traveling 25 days in a month. And it came to a point, we didn't have enough money to pay for the hotel stay. So all of us decided to stay in the railway retiring room for four months to save money because we had no money. We had no money. Mind you, uh, Praveen's father was a general of the army. Uh, Robika's father was a naval commodore. 
डी पी सेन फादर वॉज एन चीफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ बिहार और एवरीबडी केम फ्रॉम एलिट फैमिली एंड दे ऑल एग्रीड टू स्टे इन द रिटायरिंग रूम फॉर सिक्स मंथ इवन देन वी आर नो मनी द कंपनी बिकेम ऑलमोस्ट बैंक आई डिट नो वट टू डू so one fine morning one fine evening i was helpless and i did not know what to do so my wife saw my face she asked me what happened i told this company dead and will die she offered her personal assets jewelry to me you take it this is all i can give you and wish you good luck and i'll support you that helped us to run the company for another 3 4 months one evening i found that there's no money to pay the salary tomorrow so i had a ambassador car bought for 80000 rupees for the company which i sold after 4 months for 40000 rupees i still remember the number of the car wmc 842 but we paid the salary since the beginning of the company even during the bankruptcy time we did not delay the salary of the people even one minute till today every time the salary is made on time in the company every time the salary is made on time before 30th and that's how we had a philosophy of employee first established in the company to take care of the people we brought down the list of the customer from 200 to 100 to 50 and then to 25 so only when we focused on 25 customer we could sell it there are time to find out what went wrong the market potential that we did was so big i did it one of my colleague manoj basu he did it Iskega people came for five year. They also did, made the market survey. We total the number. We gave the report to be made for the bank to a merchant banking division of Grinless Bank. There were two. I am graduate working in that. One from I am Ahmedabad. One from I am Calcutta. They made the report. Then what went wrong with our market research market survey? Then we found. we had done the market potential but we had not assessed the convertible potential the gap between convertible potential and the marketable potential was very large so you might read any book any document you might get taught at harvard or any best of the school but nothing to beat the practical experience so when i went to one of the engineer you told me that it will sell like a hot cake Why are you wasting my time? Why don't you make it and you don't want to buy? He laughed. Then he told me, "If I make this product, it will make profit for my. If it works well, it will make profit for my company, and I don't get promotion. But if it fails, uh, there will be CBC inquiry against me, and I will lose my job. So why should I stick my neck out? Because those days, even today, in the government." the promotion is based on time not on the performance so in a country where the largest investment of the economy is in public sector and where the performance uh, where the promotion of a person is time based not performance based can you ever think that those companies will adopt new technology never that's why in the early stage in the first second third five year plan the performance of our public sector unit was extremely poor and some of them those who were a little more aggressive they said all right if i take my neck out what is in it for me we said nothing this is get out so we had to spend that kind of time and money to get the order when we got the order whatever market survey we had done we did not get those orders since it was a design product we had to design it make a die to produce the product and 
every time we got an order, we have to order a new die. The die will take a new investment. It will require four to six month time to get the die done in Calcutta. Order would get delayed and we were running out of cash. We were running out of cash. So one day I thought I will surrender and look for a job because I can't do anything more. But my team supported me. They told MM, we will work with you till we don't turn around the company, even if we don't get the salary. We will all support, we'll all support. And they continued with us. In spite of that tension, 25 days of traveling, whenever we used to be in Calcutta, we would meet six o'clock in the playground play football for one hour and be back in the office at nine o'clock. That, that was the team spirit. Nobody left. We continuously worked. We slept in retiring room. We gave the salary of the people in time. We didn't give up because we didn't want people to people to, to abuse us. That was my first failure in life. For any major, this was the biggest failure. People told me I'm useless. My family member thought the same. My friend thought the same. The banker thought the same. They all thought an I'm graduate can talk and write well and he cannot do anything in life. So I didn't know to surrender I was not so much worried about myself. I was more worried about I am Ahmedabad. It will give such a bad name to my alma mater that I cannot afford to see that bad name given to my alma mater or to me. At times, I also got the urge to commit suicide. I couldn't do that because by that time I was married and I had two children. I kept on. We revived the company and we continued to operate in India till 99. The company was making profit. We were growing slowly because the growth of mining industry in India was only 1% and sometimes negative. It was in the hand of the public sector. Government never gave any importance to this till 98, 99. At times, it so happened that in 97, 98, when we would supply to iron ore mines or steel plant or Hindustan copper, they will not pay our bills. They will give us material, like Hindustan will give us a quota that we can buy the steel from them. Or Hindustan called copper will give the quota, we will buy the copper from them and sell in the market at 5% discount. It was more like a, like a barter deal than anything else. It was like a butter deal. So I th thought that the kind of people that I have organized, the kind of training they have, the kind of value system these people have, in this economy, the com company will break into pieces and die. So I had a very good friend for Dr. Ashok Bhattacharya. He was the managing director of development consultant, a very large engineering consultancy company employing about 3,000 people uh, worldwide. So he told me, you fight the system. I told him I can't fight the system. Then he told, immediately change your battlefield. Move out of India as soon as you can. But I could not because our collaboration agreement did not permit me to go out of India till 97. It's only after the collaboration agreement expired that we could look outside. Till such time, we were an inward looking company. Uh, our business in India was based on public relations, not on performance, not on delivery time, not on quality. Some of my engineers who were marketing in the coal field area learned how to eat khaini, tobacco, I, I, I hope you understand. They're, 
knowledge of English was poor. They had a good technical knowledge, but not smart looking people. And there was a problem that I could not afford to send them outside India. They would find it difficult to meet the customer and, and sell the product. So I started looking smarter boys with good looking, good English, good manners and started to sell them, but they had to be taught technology. And the technology could be taught only by my people who have worked in the company for the last 20 years. So all the old people went on war against me and the new people. He told, we have worked in the company. We have worked hard for the last 20 years. These people will come and take maza. They will travel abroad. They will enjoy life. Not we. We will not teach them. For two years, it became a problem for me how to convince them, how to to educate new people. The new people I had taken then also started leaving out of frustration. But the business grew so fast that uh, there, was a, there was a opportunity for everyone to travel abroad. So we started educating our older people uh, in, in terms of English and etiquette. Those who picked up, they were sent abroad. So when they started traveling abroad, then they became more cooperative to teach the newer people. And that's how our journey started for internationalization. Uh, first, hmm? we thought we, will, we had to choose the area where we will do the marketing. So we thought Africa could be one reason where we will be able to start business easily. So we went to South Africa. We requested Tata International to become our agent and do the marketing for us. We tried for six months. We could not even generate one inquiry. So then I didn't know what to do. Then I went to meet a gentleman in London. The gentleman name was Derek Hardman. He used to work with Skega's London branch and looking after Africa and Ghana. He had just retired. So I met him and requested him, would you work for me and live in India? He said, are you mad? Can you afford my salary? I said, yes, we can't ask you to work free for us. So I promised him, whatever money you save in England, while you were with Skega, we will give that money to you so that your saving is same. Rest, all your expenses in India, boarding, lodging, driver, company car, your drink, everything we will pay the bill for it. I appointed him. I rang up my, my, my wife out of excitement that I've hired a man in England. He's going to work with us in Calcutta. And the company was very small those days. So my wife laughed. He said, so that your mother made a mistake. I said, what? She kept your name mother a little too long. If she had made it small, removing A and N, it would have been right, right for you. I, I didn't know what to tell her. <laughs> His salary used to be 25% salary of the whole company in India. My goodness. So he came and worked with us for three years. Wherever he went, I and my colleague, Mr. Imam, our marketing director, we would go make technical presentation to customer. Sometime I and Mr. Imam both will go and sometime I or Imam will go separately and he will, he will go with us. We will make the technical presentation. In the evening, he will go to the club because every mining company had a big club and a golf course. Sunday, Saturday, or next day morning, he will play golf with the mine superintendent. He will negotiate the order. By next day afternoon, we had the order in our hand. So he will go open the door for us. We will make the presentation. He will pick up the order. Nobody ever asked a question, how big is Tega? How small is the company? How is the company? 
but he was a great help to us in opening the door getting the order and and we started our journey with that uh, it was hard to take him because his salary was so high but he did his job after three years we had to part with him on account of the cultural issues which i would not tell you so we parted with him but he was the man who helped us start the uh, branches outside we had a branch in ghana we opened one branch after the other in 2002 our sale was 15 crore and 2014 from 15 crore we had crossed to 640 crore awesome awesome so in south africa we could not do any business uh, our ambassador was great help to introduce me to the speaker of the assembly mr uh, uh Trevor Fowler i developed friendship with him he helped me to meet the chairman of various mining companies through them i took the appointment to the purchasing manager i sent two people from my company to meet those purchasing managers they came back blank some of them cancelled the appointment some of them gave only 5 minutes and they were not interested because all the purchasing manager were white they could never imagine with the image of india they would buy from india so our operation in south africa was virtually nil in two, in around 2001 but derek hardman was helping us trying to get business in south africa and other countries then we opened a branch in australia because in any foreign country they will not buy a product which requires lot of design work to be done lot of service to be given in fact after we used to install our product we had to stay there for a week to stabilize the plant so so they would not give it to a company which was not there uh, established with a company or a branch so we opened a company in australia we hired a local engineer so in interview we took a man who was technically sound ken archer and then we took him we could not get much order racism was a big problem in australia for us to break into the market and for seven years we did not get any order in australia and we used to lose anywhere 70 lakh to 1 crore every year because that used to be the cost of running a branch but we never closed it because if we close the branch we will get a bad name that we are fly by night and nobody will ever touch us in future so we kept the take off fact flying in spite of the losses and that engineer was pretty bad at times he used to talk to our people design it like this design it like that and one day he told one of our chief engineer you bloody fool do it the way i am telling you and that is the way we decided to part with him because we knew in our heart we knew the engineering and technology much better than those australian people but because of our image racism they would never respect us they would never buy from us we kept the branch on in spite of the loss we fired with fired that man we had to pay him one year of salary to part with him that was the agreement with him so when you are a small company you are a new company you are not known in the market you get the worst man to join you no good man will ever join you and you have to go through this pain problem you cannot avoid it you cannot avoid it uh when we opened the next branch in usa i hired a man called john harlow he used to work in the conveyor industry uh, out in mining industry we told uh, we told him he told no uh, you will have to keep a stock in usa because the people need four to six week delivery we had to do new tooling tooling because we were doing in meter and millimeter they were doing in inch and feet so we had to redesign the tools redesign the die manufacture the material he did a survey 
and we send goods worth one million dollar to USA. We hired a godown office, everything. In 15 to 18 months, we got order only three thousand dollar, nothing else, and we kept on paying his salary. We kept on paying his uh, travel bill. Then ultimately, we had decided to part with him. There was a big pressure from Reserve Bank of India that you have sold the good in USA, you are keeping the money and you are not bringing the money. They gave us a so-called notice. So we realized what the problem was. Then we sent two people to US office, uh, one our branch manager from Bombay, Sandeep Iswas. And by that time, my son had completed his MBA from USA. So we told him because he was used to the US culture. So when we parted John Harlong, we thought we will give him a farewell dinner so that he does not create a bad name for us. <laughs> Next day morning, my boys went to office. They found office was spotlessly clean. Nothing left in the office. Uh, all the correspondence, catalog, visiting card, everything was removed from the office. Nothing was left. <laughs> Nothing was left in the office. We didn't know to file a case on him or to, to start working on our own. So we thought we will leave him with whatever duplicate copies we had. We started working in USA and it took us three to four years before we could reach the break even in the branch. Canada, we had a new experience. My colleague was, had to learn how to do left hand driving, to drive in sub zero temperature. So he describes, you are trying to sell a new drink, launch a new drink, and you have to fight with Coke. Can you imagine what is your condition? All our competitors used to laugh at us that these people will run away. Don't give your order. When we established getting some order in the very second year, one of the large company was going bankrupt. We did not realize it. So they owed us $350,000. So instead of paying us, they filed a suit of $2.6 million on us because they didn't want to pay the money to us. And we didn't know what to do. We fought the case with them. We won the case and we established the office. We have 11 people in Canada and we are running a branch. Uh, in Russia, we had a different experience. Fortunately, we were lucky to hire an Indian who had worked in Russia and who was living in Russia and married a Russian lady. So we taught him. So he told that first six months he could not get any appointment. So he told that it takes six to eight months to get a response to your phone call. So when he went there, since he had no written permission, only verbal clearance, he was picked up by KGB and grilled for six hours. Since he had lived in Russia, he knew how to handle it. He came back. Then he told us to send a senior technical person. One of my colleagues, BK Roy, went there. He being a hardcore technical man, when he entered in the plant, uh, he was seeing equipment very carefully. Then KGB had an eye on him. They picked him up for three hours. So the image was such that nobody wanted to travel from India to Russia. We have 14 people working in Russia today with us and we are doing the business. Uh, in Brazil, we had a different experience. We hired a man who used to work with the mining company. That mining company had visited our plant in India to see if we can supply. So when we send the goods, the first consignment which went, there was a mistake in the supply of nuts and bolts. And the metal was to be installed during Christmas time. And you can imagine, he could not get the bolt made in three days. So he had to reinstall the old lining back to run till such time he could get the new set of nuts and bolts. He worked for 72 hours. Uh, to see that the plant does not remain shut to start to continue. 
every time we had to send the material outside India, uh, first few years, we used to airfare the material because we used to be late in making it. Our system, culture, packing system, quality system were not coping up with the requirement. So the air freight cost used to be almost equal to the value of the order. So material went free. So 10 to 15% order we used to air freight. But we never stopped air freight and delay the material. We would make sure the material reaches in time, not one day late. Not one day late, even if we had to air freight. So at least we established the name, we will meet the delivery schedule. Then we opened a branch in UAE. There was another problem. Uh, in those countries, from Oman to Azerbaijan, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, every country has a different culture, different system, different etiquettes. And it is not that you open a branch in Dubai. It took us four months to get the permission to open the branch account where we could send the salary properly and he could use the card. Uh, one time, one of my colleagues went to Saudi Arabia to one small airport. And just before he was to take the flight, the Yemen started bombarding there. And he saved his life, came back. When he described it to people back home, everybody told they will not travel to Saudi Arabia. Similar about the condition, when we got the feedback from Russia or from any other country. So when you are in a new territory, in a new area, new culture, new customer, new product, new system, you are bound to make hundreds of mistakes. Nobody can avoid it. I never treated this as a mistake for my people. I always appreciated them so that they keep learning, keep doing it. And we keep on funding till such time we could establish that branch to become profitable. Some branch took three years, five years, seven years. Uh, the longest time we took was in Australia, seven years before we could come to break even. But we kept on at it, we never gave up. We never gave up. Then since we were not selling much, South Africa was a big market. So we thought that if we have to become one of the four companies in the world, we have no other way than to establish our own manufacturing in large mining countries. One was South Africa, second was Australia, third was South America and Russia. So we need to have manufacturing facilities in these countries to cater to the market to become one of the top three or four companies. 2003, <coughs> I visited to acquire a company in South Africa. We negotiation failed. 2006, we acquired the company. It was owned by two white people. We left 10% equity with them so that they would transfer the management to us over a period of next three years. They did that. We had a lot of cultural issues. They are at 445. Everybody will wind up his paper and five o'clock every car will start and they will leave for home. And we are used to working five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, even on Saturday. Nobody will work there. Second problem we had, uh, our customer would bargain with us, but our purchase department would not bargain. So I was told that whatever price the vendor gives, you have to give him the order at the same price. At the most you can ask for two or 3% discount. We in India are used to getting 10% discount, which we think is our birthright and negotiate. So we send a <coughs> purchase manager from India to replace the local man. When he started bargaining, he created a lot of resistance in the company from other people. <coughs> in this company, we had all white except the worker. Then they were using the rubber compound 
made locally, which we stopped. We started sending the rubber compound from India. It used to cost company 5% more by way of freight and duty, but we <coughs> insisted on it because our compound was far superior than their compound. And we told we will not give the recipe to anybody because this is our secret. We don't want to let the secret go to anybody in the world. We had problems in changing the design because those white thought that they have a better idea than us. But over a period of time, we convinced them. And today we bought our own property, 20 acre land. We left the property where we had uh, in a rented premises. Whatever money we borrowed to buy South African company, we paid back the money in five years. Then we thought in Australia, the branch cannot do well because you have to send the goods from India. People used to ask how India will make such a critical equipment, can we trust it? So we bought a subsidy company. We acquired a company in 2010 with the help of a merchant banker called Lasajan. And we had an agreement with the owner that he will stay with us for one year to transfer the knowledge to us. He stayed with us for one year. His philosophy and our philosophy was same, that we don't sell the product to a customer, we give the solution. And that's how he had built the company. We still have that company. We have 84 people. We send an Australian who was working in our plant in India to improve the quality. He was a plant man. We send him as a CEO. He failed miserably. Then we fortunately hired an Indian working in Australia for the last 20 years. Uh, in our line of business, he didn't do well either. Now we have taken a, a local man who was working with our competitor uh, one year before. He's trying to improve the company and bring it to a good shape. Then the turn came. Since we had a good experience in Australia and South Africa, we became very bullish. And we thought we cannot become number three unless we have an establishment in South America. And in South America, we chose Chile as the area to work with. And he helped us to acquire a company called Ecotech in Chile. Uh, we made 100 mistakes in acquiring the company. The company's product line was 25% our product, 75% other product line. We shouldn't have touched this company, but we felt great of ourselves that we can manage any business. So we saw, let us do it. Our objective changed. Our objective was to close 1,000 crore rather than to acquire a good company in our line of business. That mistake led us to, to disaster. We acquired a company. We gave the due diligence to one of the four big companies. I will not name which four. You all know that Price for the House, Just Rang, KPMG, and Deloitte, one of the four. The owner of the company was the president of the Chartered Accountant Association of, of Chile. He had a big influence on all these companies. And I would say that we were cheated badly. The balance sheet was dressed up. Uh, there we made one mistake. We acquired the share of two working directors. Each one of them had 5% uh, holding and we acquired their share. So they were free after getting the money. And we used to have every fortnight one review meeting on video with the CEO along with the team. And he would not answer any question to us. He will talk in Spanish with his people and then answer it. So we never realized that he is not with the company, he does not know. And it was only after two and a half years we came to know uh, that he's not coming to company at all. And he was collecting the salary. And the company went down. Every employee in the company had a private company trying to make money out of it. Uh, every area, purchase man, logistic man, you name it, or even a maintenance engineer. And after two years, 
they were showing profit in the book and they started demanding money to pay the salary of the people. So my people sent it to me that I was very worried. So every three months, uh, two of our directors used to visit every two months for a seven days. They would go review the company and come back. And that CEO will insulate them from meeting anybody in the company. So they did not know what really was happening in the company. We could not speak to anybody because we didn't know Spanish except two, three senior people. We had no idea of the culture. The company was full of corrupt people. Uh, in the due diligence, we got cheated badly. And everything went wrong. I stayed there for myself for about five months. It would take those days 43 hours to go from home to home. Uh, I would travel uh, for four days. Uh, three days I will stay at home and 20 days in Chile. I couldn't correct the company because we not only made mistake in the due diligence, we made due diligence of the product also. We thought we are the greatest people in knowing product. And we looked at the product on the surface. We didn't go deep. Uh, our product line that we chose was also poor. Our main product line is mill. They were not making mill, they were making other product. So even the product line was bad. And by 2016, 17, we had lost 200 crore in that company. The peso, which used to be dollar to 400, became 700. Fortunately, all our company's branches export in India was working very well. So we could pay back the loan of the bank. I mean, we had cash flow problem, we had difficulties. So we brought down our strength from 200 people to 30 people in 2017, hoping that we will buy the goods made by others to our design and sell it. Or we will make from India an air freight and sell it and run the company because otherwise we'll have to write off a uh, hundred crore uh, premium that we had paid in the company from our balance sheet. And out of 200 crore loss, 50 crore we had sent from India uh, every month to pay the salary to keep the company going, which we were not getting back from there. So we decided we will close it. Then suddenly we, real, we found, uh, my son found that there was a new product opportunity in that country. He read in a magazine that one of our competitors is developing uh, mill lining. Not, most of the mill diameter is about 20 feet. But Chile, the operations are very, very large. So they were developing 40 feet diameter mill and there the lining was steel, not rubber. So that, that company Meso were trying to develop rubber lining for 40 feet dia. That could be a product if we could develop the technology, we could win the war. So in 2018, uh, we hired two people. When the, we were closing the company, we had brought down the strength to 30 people. We had no money. We were finding it hard to pay salary. Whatever goods we had sent, we never got the money back. And we knew one day we have to close the company. Then the proposal came that in case we have to develop that product in Chile, we would need to invest 40 crore. The decision went to the board. And at the end of the board meeting, the board told me that they will not take the decision. And the decision was left to me. They saw it is an entrepreneurial decision, not a managerial decision. Mother will leave it to you. And if I tell you the name of the board member, you'll be surprised. One is Mr. Heman Narurkar, ex-managing director of Tata Steel. Mr. Rudy H, he's the chairman of FL Smith Asia. He was chairman of FL Smith India, a damn good mining engineer. Dr. Jahar Saha, ex-director general of IIM Ahmedabad, and a couple of other people. They told, we will not take decision as a board member. We leave it to you in a country where you have lost 200 crore. 
you don't know the language you don't understand the culture and you think there is an opportunity you want to invest 40 crore to develop we leave it to you then i asked the question to myself if i lose this 40 crore will i survive or not will i have enough money to buy the bread for me and the family or not the answer was yes so i took the decision we will invest 40 crore and it took one and a half year to develop the product and we developed the product for dana prime and uh, today i am proud to say that we are the best company in the world to develop a mill lining for 40 feet diameter mill number one product wise in the meantime this company that we had acquired in chile had three subsidiaries company two of them went bankrupt <coughs> in one company called bomba tech we had a partnership for manufacturing pump along with an employee of the company he hijacked the company so everything came to stand still we invested 40 crore then we turned around the company in 2019 and there was a 50% increase in revenue the company grew another 50% in 2020 was almost grow 40% in 21 the employee strength of tega which had become 30 went up to 120 the mill lining business was contributing the main income then me my son and my colleague imam were taking pride in reviving the company the world was hit by covid in addition there was a political unrest in chile affecting the manufacturing unit because they increased the fare of the train by 10% the students went on strike there was a firing and one student died the whole country was closed for one year then the issue came should i invest money in order that we become number one company in the world in 3 year in mill lining we require an investment of 175 crore the question came to our board and again the board left the decision to me alone this is a huge investment in a country so far away you don't speak the language you had very bad experience then i asked the question to myself if i invest 170 crore and my experience becomes bad like last time do i survive what do i do when this question came i have already become 78 i have two grandchildren ah uh, my wife and we were chatting she told me mm mm-hmm. your children only know the mother not the father because when they were growing you did not see them because you were traveling 25 days in a month why do you want to do that again spend the time with the grandchildren let them enjoy your company let us all enjoy life whatever expenses you have done let it continue and don't sink more money in the company i have two choices a i look at myself i look at my family uh, we had a legacy when we started the company the first will any this and come it will be the company second will be your department and third will be you because this legacy came from the army i had two gentlemen in the beginning in the company who had an army background one was pravin kumar his father was his father is lieutenant general in the army and one is 
Rubika Chatterjee, son of a Neville Commodore. So these three legacies were established in the company. So then I thought to myself, what can I do? Then I looked at, can I disobey my father? The father of the nation was Gandhi, who taught, taught all of us and who looked after his country and not his son. Should I forget that? Should I remember that? Should I look at Tega? Should I, should I look at my wife? She virtually owns 50% share. She bailed me out when the company was in Tolda. She gave her jewelry to me to save the company. Can I say no to her today? Should I say no to her? Do I have the right to say no to her? I decided that for the sake of the company, for the sake of the company's life, I will take the decision and invest that money and try to do it well so that the company survives and forget about myself. When I look back 50 years of my journey in Tega, I know this is not the end. For me, the work is fuel that keeps me going even at the age of 78. I've started 79 on 14th of August. I have the same passion and enthusiasm which I had when I started Tega in 72. I know there are many milestones to be crossed, new peaks to climb. I'm always dreaming with new ideas, be it a new product or a services or modify the existing operations. I know the possibilities are endless. I am not afraid to start anything new even at this age. I thrive on challenges. I may not know what the future holds, but I do know what holds inside me. A limitless unbound love for what I do. An entrepreneur's journey never ends Tega's story has begun again after the fall back in Chile and will continue. And my wife says jokingly, MM, even your dead body will work one day. Thank you. Sir, no words. There are no words. I mean, we are all. That's a, thank you. Sir, I hope I have amazing not bored you for half an hour. No, no, no. no. Whatever sir, experience I had, I thought I'll share with you. Sir, it's an amazing journey. It's, it's tough to have it. Salute to your you know, spirit. Salute to your spirit. That's up to you. Amazing. Now we'll have the forum open for question and answer. Is everyone uh, able to hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Now we'll have the question, I mean, the forum open for question and answer. And Dr. Yogesh Pawar, who is the chairman of Arise and founder of Ku Hello, Dr. Yogesh. Yes, I'm there. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll yes. request Dr. Yogesh Pawar to begin the session of questions. Dr. Yogesh is chairman of Rise and founder of School of Inspiration Leadership. Over to you, Dr. Yogesh. Thank you, thank you, uh, sir. I don't have words. First of all, so uh, let me first consume everything that I've heard. It will take at least a day uh, to consume such a wisdom that you've given. I was in a midst right now, let me tell you, I was in a midst of accepting, and I'm very open to everybody, accepting certain 
investments and certain risks to be taken in my business. I think you've shown me the path. You've told me what to do. So thank you so much. Thank you so much that I, in your entire thing, that that the journey that you shared with us. Uh, in what, and I'll personally have a word with you to tell you where you give me the trigger of what should I do. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm honored and delighted that I've been able to be some use to society to give back what I've taken from this. Awesome. So this is, this is worth it. This is definitely worth it. So we have created certain questions based on uh, the audience who is listening to us. Uh, they have asked questions. I would recommend people who have questions can go to the Q&A session of the webinar and post the questions. But meanwhile, I have certain written down questions for you, sir. And I'm sure you'll be more than happy to answer them. I will try my best. And uh, <laughs> yes. And as we move forward in this entire process of asking questions, so you said, uh, I realized that you are a very, very passionate human being. I mean, uh, the decisions are made by heart, uh, then brain. Uh, how have you been able to balance this uh, beautiful combination of heart and head and still taking forward the company? What's, what's that that you've done? Mm. I had a great teacher when I was in Ahmedabad. Uh, he's no more alive, Dr. Vasant Mote. And he taught me many things, like when he threw me out of his room, that I don't ask you whether you know swimming or not. I throw you in the sea. You drown and die and get out of my room. Yeah, right. So he created confidence in me. A leader always has to allow people in his team to give their best. So he did the same. I hated him when he threw me out of the room. But he was a man like a coconut, tough outside, very soft inside. Anybody who came to his class one minute late, he will not allow you to enter. If you have not prepared the case and come, he will throw dust on your head. You might bleed. Okay. His daughter's wedding was at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and he took the class at 9 o'clock in the school. So for him, the duty came first. Yeah. When we got the order from Bukharo Steel, we had to do the installation in blast furnace. And one hour of delay in starting the blast furnace could cost them five to 10 lakhs of rupees. And thus, the work was not done properly. And I got a call at 11 o'clock from the director of Bukharo Steel to visit and set things right and complete the job in two days. And that morning, my child was born. He was a cesarean, <clears throat> and my wife was in ICU. So I left a letter for her and went to Bukharo. So we got up. She saw that letter of mine. She had not forgiven me till today. But I knew my parents, my brother, sister, the whole family was at her disposal. So nothing would happen to her. So basically, you have to divide between your own and the duty. I asked this question to many of my boys when they joined the company. You marry your daughter, your son-in-law is in working in the army. He comes home for honeymoon or family. He gets a call from the front. Will you tell your son-in-law to remain at home in the in-law's place and go to the front? What will you do? You have to first look at your duty, then yourself. And that's what I was taught by Dr. Mote. He invited me so much that I always looked my work first, then myself. Yeah, well. yeah. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So there is a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, sentence that is written by one of our members. He says, entrepreneurship means MM. So there's a good definition that the team is here giving you, sir. It is such a, such a, such a privilege to be with you. 
I have next question to to ask you. Can you share your experience on a decision where everyone said no, but you your inner voice was there? So you gave me two such experiences. Something that you also were feeling fearful about, but you still went ahead. I will tell you, I made the rule in the company, and I broke many rules in the company myself. <laughs> uh, one of my colleague. Varun Day, 27 year old, he was a steno secretary. He worked with us for five months, and he was detected of cancer. Very young man, so we admitted him in one of the best possible hospital. And the doctor told he will not survive more than seven days. So his brother came and his two brother came and met me. Uh, that whatever money you are going to spend on him for the next ten days. you give it to us and we will it will help his family to take care so i and my wife decided and i told him you come and meet me tomorrow he the gentleman came and met me next day so i told him no we will keep him in the hospital till the last day and what we have to do for his family we will do so i asked one of my colleague to go and meet his wife and we realize that any money we give it to his brother his wife will not get a penny and she had a young daughter of 3 year so i told my hr head you get his wife to learn swimming and tailoring in the tailoring shop tailoring uh, singer bushi not usa had a service center an education center in parkley we keep her for a week they will teach her and we will open a tailoring shop for her in the village and spend 70000 rupees and educate her daughter till she gets married uh, my hr man told you cannot do this you have to agree to do for everybody and he is not even confirmed employee for one year he is not entitled to any facility how can you do that i told him let us do for him if any such problem comes in future we will take care of it and we will see what to do we will see what to do so we got her educated her daughter till graduation her mother ran a tailoring shop and i my one of my colleague used to go and meet her every year the daughter is married she has children the woman is doing well i never had an occasion to break the rule again but we did once second time an occasion came one of my colleague rang me up when i was out of the country asking for 30000 rupees for a pacemaker for his father now anybody asking a loan in the company he had to give an application he departmental had to recommend hr had to recommend then he had to give a schedule when he will give it then paperwork will be done seven days then the money would be released so i told him to my hr man you give him the money now in next half an hour he said the papers have not been processed i said you can record that i cleared it on the phone then he was silent then i told all right mrs monka will go and take the loan from the office and give it to him does it satisfy you he said all right not necessary so we gave the gentleman a loan in half an hour time for the pacemaker breaking all the rules but a similar situation came when a man asked for a pacemaker loan and i had a doubt on him so i told him you wait we will give you by evening and i sent a man to his house to find out how is his father his father was having tea and playing cards nothing has happened to his father yeah. we sacked him on the same day uh, okay so so that that heart always exists in an entrepreneur what you saying yes. you know that that tough decisions or probably the sense of emotions that that he goes through and that decision that he takes sir i remember uh, in fact i want to give you a pleasant surprise so and in this surprise uh, we have a very old employee who has worked with you and uh, he is an entrepreneur today yeah okay so i am going to allow him to speak 
because what he said told me was sir i never could express my gratitude to mm sir it could have been last 15 years that he is with business but that एक छोटी सी चीज रह गई थी जो आपसे ग्रेटिट्यूड एक्सप्रेस करनी थी तो वो ग्रेटिट्यूड है वो आज ये बताएंगे आपको आई एम अनम्यूटिंग हिम आई एम ऑल्सो अलाउिंग हिम टू यू नो अतुल जी यू कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ यू कैन स्टार्ट योर वीडियो एंड हियर कम्स अतुल जी अतुल जी प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ Yeah, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, how are you, sir? Fine, fine. How are you? Uh, I, I am good, sir. I am good. I am listening to you since one hour. Or मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है I am getting emotional. Uh, I have no words after seeing you after twenty years. I have seen you working very hard, and uh, you are such a dynamic and very uh, uh, inspiring person. What ever I met in my life. तो मैं जस्ट आपको देख रहा हूँ सिर्फ बहुत देर से जस्ट टाइम वाचिंग कि हमारे एमएम सर मतलब आई आई एम नॉट एबल टू एक्सप्रेस माय फीलिंग्स तो मैंने बहुत कुछ आपके बारे में सोचा बट अभी मुझे लग रहा है मैं कुछ बोल ही नहीं था आई हैव नो वर्ड्स बिकॉज दैट टाइम अतुल क्या हुआ था जब आप सर के पास गए थे ये कहने की वो बिजनेस मैं करना चाहता हूं। uh, मैं पहले तो मैंने जब सर को पहली बार मिला था नॉर्मली ऑफिस स्टार्ट होता है नौ दस बजे आई मेट हिम इन दिल्ली एट सिक्स थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग हिज गेस्ट हाउस ईस्ट ऑफ में दिल्ली में था आस्क मी टू मीट मी इन द सिक्स थर्टी इन द मॉर्निंग तो मैं रात को जयपुर से गया दिल्ली दिल्ली से देन आई टू के बस एंड उनके ऑफिस में गया ही वॉज सिटिंग ऑन द चेयर मुझे लगा सर तो नहीं होंगे कोई ऑफिस बंद है बट ही वॉज सिटिंग अलोन इन द ऑफिस देन ही आस्क मी कि क्या खाओगे देन वी हैड ऑमलेट एंड ब्रेड इन द मॉर्निंग सिक्स थर्टी वी हैड ब्रेकफास्ट टूगेदर देन ही टुक मी इन हीज के देन इंटरव्यू हो गया और वेरी कैजुअल इंटरव्यू और देन ही अपॉइंटेड मी कि यू कैन ज्वाइन इन हैदराबाद और मैंने उनको पूछा सर वो मेरा ट्रेवलिंग अलाउंस जो एक नॉर्मली होता है so what he did you know he removed his purse and just opened in front of me i have nothing when you will join in hyderabad you get it you can get it from there aur bola theek hai no problem no problem because normally that day this, this was the practice no jo uh, jo norms hote hai wo hote hai but matlab he is like a father figure to me sir i cannot express the things aaj main jo bhi hu jo bhi maine polymer sikha hai jo bhi maine sikha hai na just because of him तो मुझे पता है वो रात को जब आते थे सर चार दिन जो सर ने बोला कि चार दिन वो एक फैक्ट्री में रहते थे तो हम लोग रात को दस बजे ग्यारह बजे बारह बजे तक भी वी यूज टू सेट इन द ऑफिस और सर बोलते थे कि अपनी बीवी को बोल दो कि अभी टुडे विल नॉट गो टू होम तो हम उधर बैठते थे सर और सर पता नहीं बहुत सारा कुछ पूछते थे क्या चल रहा है ये हो रहा है वो बहुत सारा मीटिंग वो फोर डेज में पूरे महीने भर का हिसाब हो जाता था तो मतलब वो जो जर्नी है ना मतलब अमेजिंग अमेजिंग तो मैंने सर वही मैंने क्या हुआ कि मैंने कभी भी वो ग्रेटिट्यूड में एक्सप्रेस नहीं कर पाया उस दिन उस दिन एक्चुअली क्या था मैं बहुत दिन से सोच रहा था कि मैं सर को बोलूँ सर को बोलूँ कि मुझे बिजनेस करना है एंड आई कैन डर फ्रॉम आउटसाइड नॉट बींग इन द कंपनी बट मैं बोलूँ कैसे क्योंकि ही हेज गिवे ही इज अपॉइंटेड मी इन द कंपनी फॉर हिज कंपनी तो मैं वो सोच रहा था देन आई हैड वन कलीग तनवीर इन माई कंपनी देन राजीव गुप्ता वॉज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट इन माई कंपनी ये सब हम लोग एक के घर गए थे ईद के लिए ईद था तो सर बोले कि हम सब जाएंगे फिर हम सब चले गए उसके घर फिर वापस आने के बाद में क्या हुआ कि ही वॉज एलोन इन द ऑफिस तो मैंने सर को बोला कि सर ऐसा ऐसा है आई वॉन्ट टू डू बिजनेस आई वॉन्ट टू बिकम ए डीलर ऑफ द कंपनी इन पुणे पुणे तो सर ने एक ही चीज बोला कि आई कैन नॉट लीव यू अनलेस एंटिल यू अपॉइंट समबडी इक्वल टू योर एक्सपीरियंस या जो तुम हैंडल कर रहे हो वो ऐसा कोई बंदा हायर करोगे तभी मैं छोड़ूंगा तुम्हें तो मैंने बोला सर अभी बट फिर मैंने हायर किया किसी को हायर किया ट्रेन किया वेन सर वॉज सेटिस्फाइड तब इन्होंने बोला कि नाउ यू कैन गो नाउ यू कैन गो बट उन्होंने कुछ कंडीशन डाल दिया 
कि जो सर्विस यू आर गिविंग टू द कंपनी वो बाहर जाने के बाद में भी यू विल सर्व टू द कंपनी तो मैं बोला ठीक है आई नो प्रॉब्लम आई विल ऑलवेज वर्क विद द कंपनी जब तक कंपनी रहेगी आई विल वर्क विद द कंपनी तो वो प्रॉमिस हमने भी सर को दिया कि नहीं सर हम वो करेंगे एंड उसके बाद सर ने भी मतलब मुझे सिर्फ ऐसे ही छोड़ नहीं दिया इस लास्ट सेंटेंस वॉज वेन आई लेफ्ट द कंपनी ही वॉज वॉकिंग ही वॉज गोइंग आई थिंक समेयर आउट ऑफ कंट्री तो उन्होंने मुझे बोला कीप द फ्लैग अप एंड दूसरा सेंटेंस उन्होंने बोला इफ डजेंट वर्क इन पुणे यू कम बैक टू द कंपनी दिस कंपनी इज ऑलवेज ओपन टू यू तो मतलब वो जो एश्योरेंस है ना अब नॉर्मली क्या होता है व्हेन वी स्टार्ट द बिजनेस वो ठीक से चलता नहीं है शुरू में यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड वर्क हार्ड वर्क हार्ड वो सब करना पड़ता है बट अगर मैं सर के पास जाके बोलूंगा सर कंपनी ठीक से नहीं चल रहा है तो सर बोलेंगे यू ज्वाइन बैक तो मैं वहां वीक पड़ जाऊंगा तो मैंने सोचा कि मैं अभी सर के पास नहीं जाऊंगा मैं कुछ भी नहीं बोलूंगा आई विल सर सम एनी हाउ मुझे वो जो कॉल मेरा था कि आई हैव टू बिकम ए एंटरप्रेन्योर वो कॉल को उन्होंने रिस्पेक्ट किया मुझे इतने प्यार से इतने इज्जत से छोड़ा उस कंपनी में और इवन लॉन्गर पीरियड तक ही सपोर्टेड मी कि आप काम करो कंपनी के साथ हम सब हैं तो उस तरह से इवन इन मैरिज टेंट डेज का लीव चाहिए था देन ही सेड कि ओके आई विल टेक केयर डोंट वरी that was also out of law out of hr rules that time also he supported so Good. we were very comfortable being a boss to abhi maine just sunte sunte maine kuch cheeze unke liye likhi thi main ek bar bol dena chahta hu mm sir is a great dynamic visionary great mentor and father figure to me i would like to express my gratitude to a man who made me what i am today He has given me an opportunity to be a part of his esteemed organization, Polyhydrolidor Plastics India Limited, Hyderabad, and further a great business opportunity to be in your absolutely on my request. Hence, we started Ali International in Pune. Last but not the least, while releasing during the last meeting, his sentence was to me: "Keep the flag up and join back to us if it doesn't work for you. Who else can say this? Of course, a person who cares a lot." and he offered me in a 6 month retainership as a support to settle and establish initially i also kept the promise and served the company as a associate partner and all the paper industries in india bangladesh from outside for the longer period and converted every paper machine to the premium ceramic grade for dewatering elements i had been your i had been to your house also in calcutta for b2b training by xlri jamshedpur it was a great experience and we could learn a lot from you and dr sarin dean of xlri now we are working pan india and offering engineering polymer solutions to the various sectors for their applications i could never say thank you to you sir as it was really not doing well initially and i never wanted to make me weak at any given point as it was absolutely my decision to choose a journey of an entrepreneur never give up attitude what we learned from you and blessings which work for us and we could make it possible and now doing well with the vision to grow beyond boundaries and the school of inspirational leadership and dr yogesh pawar and the team is with us in this journey i still remember your words during the meeting you said unless you spread your wings you never know how high you can fly thank you sir hope you remember your paper tiger thank you so much और और ये सुनते सुनते ना मैंने चार लिखी है सर के लिए हिंदी में मैं बोलता हूँ हौसलों की उड़ान आपसे है मंजिलों की पहचान आपसे है चलते रहने की पहचान आपसे है हर सफर में गुजरती मंजिलों को अभिमान आप पे है थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच और ये जो तो, बुक आपके पीछे सर ये बुक्स दिख रहे हैं ना पीछे इसमें से एक बुक मेरे पास भी है आपने मुझे जब मैं कैलकटा आया था ना यू गिवन मी वन बुक टाइम मैनेजमेंट का एक बुक था वो अभी भी मेरे पास है थैंक यू सो मच सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एम एम सर वॉट एवर गुड दैट यू डन आई एम श्योर दिस हैज कम टू यू इन वेरियस वेज दिस वॉज डिजिटल इन नेचर एंड हेल्थ आई आई we i was constantly thinking of what can i give you as a memory that you will talk uh, after this event to somebody 
and uh, when atul came up to me and said sir i worked with this company and this was my experience i couldn't stop myself but to uh, you know directly let them speak to you because that is the goodness of what you give it if a man is remembered for 20 years in the times when brother don't remember brother i think it's a great deed and i'm sure this will give a immense peace to your heart that he's doing awesome and he's growing it does So, I have last one question, sir. Apart from consistency, persistency, hard work, what would you say? Okay, these could be the top two, three, four mantras of doing business in the new normal. What do you think are the top mantras? You know, top two, three things that you feel in the new normal. This is absolutely important, sir. Employ first. And, and if you believe in something, don't give up. Uh-huh. I believed in the product. I was bankrupt. I had no money, but I never gave up. And I had the team with me. Normally, when the companies are not doing well, people leave and look for job. Nobody left me. None. So if you can keep your team, if you look after your people. they'll be with you and don't give up thank you sir thank you very much thank you uh, there is can i can, can, can i ask you one more question there is a question that come on the q and a it says how did you hold the people around you so long perhaps employees friends business partners i want to build my team stronger and ensure that they are adequately motivated i want my team to be emotionally bonded with me and company which i feel Does the job. So, how did you do that? Is the question I think. You have to be honest to people. Don't play games. And put yourself in their shoes. And look after them. Awesome. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Very, very, very sweet. Very simple. One more question is come and we'll let you go right now. Oh, why do you allow business uh, the businessmen in South America who, despite of cheating, you you let him continue? Any any specific reason? Mr. Jamdish Pate has asked me a question. We had some clause for arbitration, and we found that we were losing in that country. If you are a foreigner, you will never win the race. You will never win the case. so we thought mm-hmm. it was no point in fighting a case spend money and lose the case so we mm-hmm. thought we will do what best we can do then to spend money and time on legal issues ah oh, okay and then okay. when we were about to close the company we found an opportunity to develop a new product which we did true sure. and our team did a great job uh, along with one of the men that we hired in chile itself and the ceo that we have is very honest very good very competent and that's why i agreed to spend that kind of money today for last 6 month we have not been able to visit nobody goes we operate through video call but we still have so much of confidence in the person that we allow him to run the company as if he is the owner of the company so uh, that also tells me that your vision of the company's growth and your trust towards your people that they'll be able to turn around has been one of the key successes of tega one of the key input yeah okay uh, i think i will have to part before we part any closing comment from uh, Our office bearer Rajesh the Pindwale. If you have anything that is planned, and we are ensuring that as we are moving forward, sir, we will engage you. We will uh, call you once again, and that is the reason. So before I leave, I tell you the reason in front of everybody. We are moving forward towards inspiring India movement. All activities 
are planned for one specific day that is 22nd october to 2021 and we are all planning towards it we are all growing our community we are wanting the companies in the community to be funded to be collaborated and thought of things to be done business to be improved um, sharing in the society in fact mohan ji is working on grass food entrepreneurship that i am very very closely affiliated with him and we are taking certain ngos certain kids from the ngos very young who could can be who can be converted into entrepreneurs i'm sure in the journey of school you know the entire schooling mechanism that we want to create for like entrepreneurs there will be a humble support from your side as well as we move forward i'm sure mohan ji and me will be in touch with you to seek your support in the grassroots entrepreneurship that we're trying to create we are welcome sir any last word from you uh, more than happy you want me to say something yeah any last word from you sir yeah yeah, yeah we would like to hear from you you are doing a great job keep doing it anything i can do to help you to make it bigger i will always be present thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much to all the attendees i request uh, and announce that the session is now getting over in next couple of minutes i think 2 minutes thank you very much for attending it was a pleasure interacting with all of you through digital media sir once again thank you very much for coming in mohan ji both the mohan ji thank you very much thank you thank you very much for being great audience sir thank you very much for sharing your heart i could see emotional emotions going from mohan antur karji from mm sir also from atul and uh, that's the spirit of entrepreneurship that we want to cultivate and grow so so that we transmit that emotion to everybody which will help the businesses which will help the society and the country so thank you very much all of you and we announce that the program is closed thank you thank you thank you okay sir thank you